I don't know how far I had to hike to get here. Um, I mean, it might even be something like 50 meters. So as you can imagine, I'm pretty exhausted. Definitely nowhere near civilization. I don't think there's anything, anything at all nearby. So really nice to be out here. Well, it's mostly covered in fog, but there is a mountain back there. And uh, this is Mount Robson, which is actually a mountain I hiked into uh, in a previous video, which I guess I can link. And uh, the fog sort of keeps rolling through and I'm really hopeful that I'll get sunrise. We're still about, I think 15 minutes before sunrise. All the snow was melting in Vancouver. And so I decided to make a little bit of a last minute uh, decision to come visit the Rockies so I'm starting up at the top here in Jasper and I'll be working my way down and uh, very happy to see that there's a lot of snow here and to be honest it's actually not that cold I think it's probably only minus six right now so quite relaxed no wind just really really hopeful for a sunrise here so fingers crossed so I am really really hoping that this fog chooses to go away. Uh, as I was driving here from nearby Vale Mount, about 25 minutes away maybe, it was just completely clear skies. As I was driving through, all the mountains to the west of me were just covered in snow and they had the moonlight and I was debating whether I was going to just stop and take some pictures of those, but I hadn't scoped it out at all. I didn't see any obvious vantage points and so it was sort of just, you're in the forest and it's really hard to sort of get that viewpoint looking out over into the mountains and then came into Mount Robson Provincial Park and clearly there's a lot of fog and it is rolling through and sometimes I feel like I can see most of Mount Robson but right now it is not to be. There's a back porch on that visitor center and it provides just an absolutely amazing view of Mount Robson as long as the fog goes away. Back in June, I actually hiked into Berg Lake, which is about seven hours up uh, into the, towards Mount Robson, and you get a really different view. Here you sort of get a really, almost like a flat look of it, and it actually almost looks like it's Photoshop copy and pasted all the little peaks as it sort of makes its way down uh, the mountain. Whereas as you get sort of around to the other side, you, you really only start to see more of a singular triangle. So it's, you know, obviously they knew what they were doing when they set up this visitor center because the view from the back porch is just such an easy shot. And I noticed it when we came here for our hiking and I'm hoping that I can get a beautiful morning shot this time. Once again, it's just cross my fingers. <laughs> So we're about an hour after sunrise now, which is about, uh, I guess I've been here for about an hour and a half. I see the clearing happening here now. I'm hoping it will continue to clear just a little bit more. I'm going to set up my camera and uh, get ready to shoot. I think for this, it's a, it's a pretty straightforward shot. I'm not sure whether I will do a vertical panorama or just shoot it uh, horizontal as is one frame, but I will probably be shooting at 35 mils right at the edge of the porch there and uh, as I just turned around I saw a lot more clearing so yeah I'm gonna get set up and uh, see if I can get the shot I'm looking for. I'm starting to see a little bit more and more of Mount Robson so I'm starting to get very very hopeful. I just got the camera set up here. Uh, the two legs are extended and I'm using the uh, porch with a shorter leg up front. 
And uh, when I was here last night, I was just punching right through the snow with my shoes. But uh, this morning, a little bit firmer, so I'm able to stand a little bit easier uh, on the snow here. Now, I'm all the way at 35, which is uh, the longest on my 16 to 35. I wouldn't mind having a little bit longer, so I think I'll probably actually end up cropping this in just a little bit. Uh, the next lens I have starts at 70 mils, so it's a bit too long. But what I might do uh, after I grab sort of my primary shot, which is sort of Mount Robson just sitting right in the middle, surrounded by these trees. And uh, if I were to zoom out, I could get a lot more of the sort of peaks on both sides, which absolutely looks beautiful. But rather than zooming out just to capture the larger scene, I probably will switch uh, my camera into a vertical orientation and then take a, a horizontal panorama. That way I'll still get the same field of view, but I'll have far more detail across the scenes. So it should look good, but uh, still hoping for Robson to show itself. So I'm feeling maybe a little bit defeated. As you can see behind me, clouds are rolled in again. So I thought I was gonna get some pretty good shots. It almost looked like I was, or I was convincing myself that uh, through all the clouds rolling through, eventually it was gonna clear up. And I was getting parts where I think I even saw the very peak of Mount Robson, but seemingly out of nowhere, this fog came back and it's just rolled in through the valley. And uh, it's not even just around Robson, uh, just sort of, it's not as thick, but sort of all around me now, uh, it has fogged over. So, Definitely feeling maybe a little bit defeated, but I'm not sure anymore how much longer I want to wait. This was the shot I knew I wanted to get this morning. I came here, I thought I had everything planned, I knew the weather was going to cooperate, or at least uh, there wasn't going to be tons of clouds, but fog is always tricky in the mountains because all these valleys, they just trap all the air. And then in the morning, as the temperature changes, <sighs> So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I did get at least a couple shots that, I mean, they're not portfolio worthy, but they're still nice and they look good with the mountains sort of lit up and the, the darker trees still in the valley down here, but I'm still hoping for more. Well, look at that. I've been here now for a little over two hours and this is the most I've seen of Mount Robson. So spent most of the time just waiting around and clouds were here and then the fog rolled through and then I couldn't see a single thing. But uh, sometimes patience pays off and I'm very happy to be able to see uh, Mount Robson like this. Uh, it's not quite the view I wanted. I was really hoping for that sunrise shot with the, the colorful clouds up above, but I still got some nice shots. So. Overall, I think it worked. It's not sort of the portfolio shot I was hoping for, but it looks really beautiful. And I love the framing of all the trees. And now, at least this time of day, some of the lights peeking through and hitting some of the lower peaks on the mountains. So, I mean, really can't complain. It's such a beautiful sight. Nobody's even pulled into the parking lot here. So I've had this place all to myself and it's been it's been beautiful. A uh, little bit cold standing around, doing nothing, but beautiful. Well, it's mostly covered in fog, but there is a mountain back there. It's quite hidden in some fog. I think instead I've just got a lot of fog. I don't think the conditions are gonna get any better. Let's just cross my fingers. <laughs> Looks like I'm seeing a little bit more fog rolling through. So heading off to Jasper now and hopefully uh, some more beautiful winter scenes await.